Well, history touches down in Southern California exactly 19 years ago yesterday, Apollo 11, the first manned mission to land on the moon, blasted off into space. Now a piece of the spacecraft has landed in Downey. CBS 2's Dave Malkoff shows us in tonight's 615 Spotlight. There it goes. Even with all of Southern California's crazy traffic, no one expects to see this rolling down the street. Quite possibly the slowest way to move an Apollo space capsule is with a flatbed and a forklift. Looks like Steve Politis moves a little faster than the capsule. I'm the oldest guy here, I'm 91. You see, starting in the 1940s, aerospace engineers like Steve built NASA spacecraft right here in Downey, California. I worked on stuff that's still on the moon now. That's North American Aviation, Rockwell, and now it's Boeing. Many people here today worked on the program, okay, get over there. just not Andy. Well, thank you for bringing my vehicle back here. You know. That's actually a homemade spacesuit. <laughs> but back when this building was a space factory, it was all brand new. The Downey scientists built test yeah. capsules. This was dropped nine times out of, an, out of a carrier airplane. They called them boiler plates. Dropped it to see how the parachutes work. I'm a lot younger than him too. So. After the test, NASA stored boilerplate 19 in the California desert. And now, it's back home. The city of Downey is building a space education center right here on the property. So the next generation of astronauts. Do you realize that the people taking pictures never saw any of these landings? No, of course not. They're too young. <laughs> can shoot for the moon as well. This is very similar to uh, what we're doing now as we as we test and plan to return to the moon. And come next year when the Columbia Memorial Space Center opens up, kids will be allowed to stand here and do their own drop test on the same spot where they did it 40 years ago. In Downey, I'm Dave Malkoff, CBS 2 News. That'll be pretty cool when that opens up. Let's check in with Johnny Mountain right now, get the latest on the weather. A few thunderstorms way out in the desert as well. Remember watching those things in black and white on TV? Absolutely. Fascinating. What, 69, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. a, a phone has got more memory than those guys who went to the moon and around and landed, came back. <laughs> Unbelievable. 82 and 65, the high and low for today, uh, 80.